<clears throat> oh my goodness. Hi everybody, I'm Shauna and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um, I've got to make the candle um, sticks for a gift for a friend of mine. So I thought we'll make it together. Hi Mel, Hi, Mel. welcome. Hi Faith. Hi Faith, welcome. Um, I forgot to make the candlestick slash birdhouse. So I thought we'd go ahead and get that done because these are for a gift for a friend of mine. So hi Dolores, hi Faith. We'll go ahead and get that going. Uh, today what you will need is, remember yesterday we hi, used Jacqueline. the, hi Jacqueline, welcome. We use the burlaps. Um, I'm going to use some of the extra ones that I had because I threw them away. So I went ahead and I made them into little hearts. And we're going to use a few of these in our projects today to kind of help get rid of them instead of wasting them. You'll need your candlesticks, which once again, this was bought from a thrift store and I paid a buck fifty for it. Um, as well as the tall one, which I also paid a dollar fifty for, which I pre-painted, but we have to do them both. So. And then the boat house I bought from a thrift store. Tag is still on it, but I actually paid the 50 cents. That's marked here. And you'll need your glue, glue sticks. Who said that? Ruth. Oh, thank you, Ruth. We're trying to get well. One minute's cold, and last night, yesterday it was hot. It was pretty hot. And then in the evening, oh my God, it felt like it literally just dropped low zero. I know it didn't, but it felt like that. And you'll also need your acrylic paint. Um, once again, uh, Walmart has these between uh, 50 and 47 cents. These are the two ounce bottles here. I don't know if you guys see that. I'm trying. And then we got our little buttons and beads and stuff like that if we decide to use them. So let's go ahead and get started. My name? Shauna. Oh, just Shauna. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to bring you guys down just a little, you guys, so bear with me. Now, once again, I did pre um, take this one. But we do have two to do. I don't know why. Is it like real bright to you guys, guys? Can you see this okay? Maybe turn slightly. Um, I hope it's not too bright. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. I appreciate it. Um, with this one, I went ahead and pre painted it. I haven't put the shiny coat or anything on it. Knock it off. Go on. Anna, please stop. But I'm going to actually put a twilight candle on top, tea light, instead of one of the real ones or one of the ones that you, the long ones you stick in the hole here. And what I want to do, because it is a tea light, I'm going to make it look like we have um, candle wax dripping down the side of this. That's why we probably could do this black and it would look really, really cool for Halloween or something. But since it's about to go ahead and we're just going to take our glue gun and just let it drip. Go around the edge where we really want it to look like it started from, and just let it drip. And I've been sitting here playing with my glue gun, so God only knows what we'll get out of it. Just let it drip like it's just, just don't get your hands, guys. And definitely, if you're letting your kids do this, um, just make sure they're careful because this could be a lot of fun, it could be. Very uncomfortable no, too. Oh, more than welcome, Faith. And Red said, "No problem, Mel." Oh, was it Mel? No Sorry, the dogs are subtracting me, making me just lose my mind here. They said, "Vissy, no, 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 no." They they suddenly decided it was playtime, just out of the blue. Don't know why, but they did. So this is kind of like a waterfall, but I'm just letting it kind of just go. And now when it comes down to the end, because I want to look like the candle literally just melted. So we're just going to kind of bring it down a little low so it melts, you know, looks like it's melting faster. Put some around the bottom. 
Oops, did I get more? Here they are. Okay, I'll get this one in here. But I still want it to look like it's from the candle. And maybe the candle leaned over and broke or something. So it's pretty much all to one side. So we're just going to do this and get this going. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our next part of this project. And I think that's actually looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Just get that to melt on down. Okay. I think we are good to go. Just on one side that is melting. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, for some reason they really are. Which is good. Okay, now our next step is we're going to go ahead and we'll take our little candlestick here. And plug my, oh, where's my pink? And I'm taking, I'm going to lower you guys so you can actually see what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead, I meant to plug my heater in so it would dry faster. I have to excuse me here in a minute so I can do that real fast. Um, we're going to go ahead and paint this first. Because it will have to dry to do the next step, and then we'll go back to our candle. Now, I was thinking about making the candle look like, um, just like candle wax going down. And I'm thinking of a, a white candle. So when we, let me get that off the computer. When we go back, we're going to, to that candle, we'll go ahead and go back, and we're going to paint the wax. It kind of look like possibly it was candle wax because it'll never really have a true candle on it so we might well give it the candle wax so I'm just going to paint this on here and try to get some of these edges in so this was what $1.55 so $1.25 dollars okay so for under $3 we're going to have a, Valent a Valentine's gift for the two candlesticks, the birdhouse, and I'm just going to make it into kind of like our own little personal candlesticks here. And let me pick up all the extra. To pick up the extra paint, guys, and just go around. Oh, and it will also pick up any extra places that you might have missed. Bless you. And let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the top here real fast, and we'll set it aside. And we'll pull back our dripping candle. Well, actually, we can work on a birdhouse, and then we'll do the dripping candle while all of it dries. Okay. So we're just going to do a real fast coat here. Only going to take one coat, really. At least I think. If not, we'll find out real soon, huh? Okay, let me turn it. Oops. I pick up any gods of paint that you may see laying on it. Okay, I think this is going to be all right. So for the time being, we'll go ahead and we're going to slide this out of the way. If I can. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and slide that out of the way. Now we're going to bring our birdhouse over here. Because we want to go ahead and get our birdhouse started. And let me see if I remember right. I was going to do, trying to think of how I wanted to do it. Oh, that's what's missing. I don't have my white paint. Bear with me a little. I think I was just baiting the white, but I think it may need to break it up. So we'll go ahead and add some white to it. Okay. Sorry. All right. Once again, it's just the acrylic paint. Okay. Let me get the red open here. Bless you. Why are you sneezing so much? Okay, let me grab a different brush here, one that's not as thick, but we don't want to spend forever on this either. So I want to go ahead, I'm going to start with the red. I'm actually going to put, ooh, we can make it look realistic. Hmm. I'm so tempted to do that, guys. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to hide the red. I know it's a Valentine's, but... There's no law saying that it has to be some red and pink only. So let's go ahead and make it more fun. 
I think my friend would probably enjoy this a lot more. Let's get out green, yellow, orange. How about some two shades of blue? We'll do that. Let me get rid of this. Let's help this. Ooh, baby. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to paint the house white. Although I don't normally paint too much of anything white because I just don't. <laughs> just not me. I tend to want to paint more colorful things. But on this particular case, we're going to go ahead and get these out of my way. We're going to start with painting a white house just on the walls itself. Because after we're done with our white uh, walls, we're going to do other colors. We're going to actually go ahead. I think it would be really pretty. I know I had it in my head a certain way, but I really like this way better because it just popped in my head and it says, do me this way. So we're going to do it that way. Um, we can put little flowers and stuff on it. So we're not making it perfect. We'll try to put some leaves and stuff going up the side of that wall. I'm just going to get it painted here real fast. I guess I should have painted the house, at least the base, before I came alive. Sorry. So all I'm doing, guys, is just with the acrylic paint, get inside the little holes in here, try to get those little holes in there. Yep, fine. It says, God bless you, and no, I think it's the cap that Oh, well, thank you. Hello. Yeah, my, my, hello. Um, Franz was sneezing. He's my dog. So the cat has, because I didn't know they can have allergies, and I was told yesterday that they can. She's a very long-haired cat, so maybe she's allergic to herself. <laughs> no, she's a good cat, though. We love her. Let's see. Okay. So, oh. I almost forgot, we got to get the inside of this little door too, because I have a bird that we're actually going to be sticking on this. kind of like the idea that's in my head. I hope I can do it justice. Okay. Right now we're just doing a white. Let me flip it over. Get this going here. I don't know why these animals all seem to be having some issues here, but then we're all getting sick too and sneezing up a storm and choking, so maybe they'll Feeling sympathy for us or getting sick, I guess. It just got so cold here. Okay, so we almost got this totally painted white. This is really unusual for me, once again. I just seem to like color. So we're going to add our favorite little designs on it. Okay, I think that is well enough. Let's see. Okay, it looks good, guys. I need to clean my brush. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the bottom, but we're going to do that green in a roof. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the bait. Ooh, so I just have all this stuff sticking in my head. We're going to do the wall, the roof, a basic brown um, because something else is popping in my head. Oh, my goodness. My head just won't quit today. My brain needs to let me do one thing. Not gray. Oh, gray's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and get this one open real fast, you guys, and some in my lid. And then we're going to go ahead and do the side. Our candlestick is still drying pretty good here. And I'll show you guys how fast it's drying. You can see that the glue basically is dried. I can touch it. Got my whole hand around it. Yep, it's dried. It's ready for us to do our next step. So we'll go ahead. We're going to get a smaller paintbrush. Let me turn this around. Oh, come on. I need my brushes. Thank you. I'm talking to an inanimate object. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the roof instead of the grass. Oh, so sorry, Ruth. Um, Ruth says, you find some great stuff at 
Oh yeah, I love thrift stores. My mama used to love thrift stores and y'all selling. I, we've been getting pretty lucky here with thrift stores. Okay. So, my little brush here is actually too small, but here's the next size up. So we're going to use that one. Otherwise, we'll be doing this forever. And we're all going to start with the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and do the bottom of basic green. And the reason I'm going to... Oh, yay! Thank you, Mel. No, I want to see them. I think they're gorgeous. I can see some of them actually framed. You put in such great details into those. And let me grab this again. Okay, we'll go ahead and we're just going to get the bottom. Kind of give it like a little grassy look. And I'm not going to make it all nice and smooth, you know, like this. Because we want it to kind of have little lumps in there. Like perhaps it is grass. And it's okay if some of that white shows through here. Because grass is never perfect size all the way around. It's always different. Go ahead and bring some of that white out into your design. Because we're going to be putting something going up the side of the house. Anyway, so it would be perfect. And it kind of saves two, two birds with one stone, I guess it's called. I don't know. Anyways. And we'll just add some paint. Okay. Oh, hey, Tammy, if you're on here, happy birthday. Hey, guys, today is Tammy Carlson's birthday um, from Ginger's, no, yes, from Ginger's Reef and Things. Today's her birthday. Yay. I hope she's having a good one. So, once again, I'm just going ahead, I'm not trying to make it perfect, you guys, because sometimes perfect doesn't cut it. You want something different. And now why this is still a little wet, and go ahead, same brush, probably should dump some out, let's do it this way. I'm going to mix my yellow in there real fast and come back here, and we're just going to plot some of this yellow through my grass, just to give it a little something different in there, so it's not just plain green. Notice it's not perfect, no fantastic designs or details in there, we're just going to give it a little just of some coloration maybe. A little here, a little there. Okay, now we'll come back to our green. Pick that up. And once again, I'm not making it flat. I want it to be kind of lumpy. Cool, it's still pulling out my, my yellow. That's good, I'm glad. And we can get it over here. Try to bring out some of that white. Can you guys see that okay? I'm just patting it on there, you guys. Instead of like a normally painting it back and forth, if you pat it, add a little bit of paint, and just kind of pat it on there, it will give that, like a little design, like a little bump to it, so that it looks like it's actually not just flat. I know some people are very talented, and they can go back and actually make it look like it literally is not flat, that it's totally painted with grass on there. That's amazing. But for this case, we're just going to go ahead, make some little bumps, pick up our little sides. And this way. <laughs> I'll tell her, Ruth. I'll tell her. Thank you. I'll tell her you said happy birthday. Okay, we'll get this going. Let me bring up some more yellow in the front here. Let me pick that way. Okay, there we go. There we go. If you get too much yellow or too much of another color, you can always add extra color to one. Or you can go right back around it and just blend that color in. There's no law saying it cannot be go back and blend it in. So we're just going to go ahead and add some more of this yellow here. And notice how it's, I'm just kind of patting it up the side of the wall now. Here's our little tree. We're going to put a little bush there maybe. And then we'll just do this. And get this part done. Maybe add a little tad of darker green here. Just to give it that little bit of rain. 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make that just a little, little doggo. Okay, and now we're gonna stop. I'm gonna go to a sec. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and continue that bush over here. Just to give it that little ideal that is there. Pick up the top part, put your uh, paint on the bottom, and just tap it in. And just tap it in. Now what I'm going to do, let me grab my white. Pick up a tad bit of white on this. Try to wipe it out. Just pick it on the top. Hopefully I didn't get too much. Add a few. Whoops. Come on, on the top. Thank you. Add a few little specks of white here and there. Nothing great, nothing fancy. Okay. Happy birthday, Tammy. And Melissa's girl said, Happy birthday, Tammy. And Melissa said, You passed your five days. I did, Melissa. I did. I forgot about this. Happy birthday, Tammy. Oh, thank you, Becca Girl. Thank you all. I'll tell Tammy. And she'll see the um, replay, and she'll, she'll see. She'll know. Everybody cares, and that's good. She needs it right now. Um, okay, so we got our one little tree, and we got our sides. We're going to do our sides. Let's just do them now because it's still wet on us. Hi, Tammy. Happy birthday. Tammy joined us. Yay. Okay, whoops. Okay, lost that brush. So right, we'll use this brush. Um, my flowers that we did yesterday, we're going to bring that same concept of some flowers in here on this. Ooh, see, I keep seeing these different pictures in my head today for some reason. What I'm going to do is come to the bottom and pull up. Bottom, pull up. Bottom, up. Bottom, up. Bottom, up. If you pull some of the other paint in there, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Now I'm going to make it just a little darker on some of it. And it doesn't have to be a perfect way. Because we're going to bring some little flowers. Just some small little flowers in here. And some little leaves. Okay. So now on this one, I don't know if you guys can see. We're going to go pull. Oops. I'm going to get paint on it. It won't do anything. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab hold and we'll just make little teeny tiny leaves. They don't have to be perfect. They're all going to be really tiny leaves. So if they're not, that's okay. Move on to the next one and don't worry about it. Let's move on down. Get some little tiny leaves going here. And every time I start making one of the little stems or something, I see another flower pop in my head. But we're going to go ahead and just stick with the little teeny tiny leaves here for now because we got both sides to do. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be even. You can make some bigger, some smaller. This is totally, totally, totally up to you. So just real simple. Um, let me see. A leaf, you guys. I know you can't see this too well. So a leaf, all I'm doing is here's my stem. And then I will come this way and I just pull out and up and then come back down, pull up, and then just fill this in. And you got your little leaf connected to your stem. And then this is your stem. If you bring out another leaf, I would just do the same thing. Just kind of connect the little dot. You can add colors and make them more realistic if you want. But I always just go and pull out and up from the base up and out to start your leaves, okay? I know it's kind of hard to see this. So we're just going from the base of where we already got a stem started and pulling out and then just fill it in. And we'll do a little tiny one right here. And we'll try to add a little leaf right there. We'll call our little leaves good on this side. So we got our little leaves going. Next step, next step, next step. We're going to have to grab the purple pink. And as of like yesterday, 
we're gonna go ahead and make a mess on my table like always but we're gonna make the color that I want because I don't have that color so what I'm gonna do is go ahead I'm gonna take the purple put it on my desk and I'm gonna take the white just like yesterday on the opposite side and get me a decent brush well, let me see. I like that black one. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and get our brush. I'm using this little tiny flat brush like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming from the middle and just pulling. Whoops. Would help if I rinse out all the water to do that, but that's okay. Coming to the middle and just pulling the white into my dark to blend and try to find a color that I like. Because I want to make enough of it to do all my flowers, but I don't want to make not enough of it to do my flowers. And then if you want a dog apart, you still have enough paint here to do the dog. Let me mix what's on my brush here, because that's perfect, I think. Right, Don, you're also blessed and tending to a business manager, so thank you. Doris, so happy birthday time, and also happy birthday time, and so Oh, cool. Thank you all. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to trade brushes. Let me see if I can find my favorite brush. Well, not my favorite brush. I can't use that one. I have to have a small brush. Let me use Let me. I thought maybe I dropped it on the floor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. We're going to pick up our purple paint, just the tip, guys. And once again, we're going to hold on to the box to, maybe it on it's okay, to schedule our hands to secure it. And right where our base is of our stem, little teeny tiny dots. And we're just going to bring it up like a triangle. These ones are going to be pretty much standing semi whoops, straight. And if you make a mistake like I just did, just blend it in. Just bring it right into that flower. My brush is too big, guys. We get a different brush. It's all right. Computer going crazy. We got to trade our brush out anyways. Because this brush is not going to let me do it without me ruining it. Bear with me while I lean over here and grab all my brushes. Okay. Ah, here's a little teeny one. Perfect. Okay. Once again, we're just going to pick up the color we were using at the tip. And since I got that mess there, we're going to try to fix it. I'm just going to make it a little bigger flower. Not a big deal. Who said they had to be all the exact same size? And we're going to bring that flower up a little taller than what I would have. And we got it halfway started. Now I'm going to pick up my white to give it some little white taps in there on the one side. And there we go. Okay. Let me pick it up. Just bring up just a little more white. There we go. That's probably a little more than I need it. That's all right. Now we're going to blend it in with the uh, purples. All right. Now we can go ahead and go back, pick up our purple color, and go to the next one. Little tiny dots. And then we're going to pull it up. Just bring our dots and making like a triangle once again. And we'll go ahead and go to the next one with the same color. A nice tall flowers. Just love these flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up some dark color, the purple, into this one here. Just to give it a little difference in the other one. They don't always have to be exactly the same. Bring on some creativity in them. A little dark here, a little dark there. Now I'm going to pick up the white on the tip. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go ahead and add, whoops, not that much white. Add some of the white to the same basically the same side the other one's on just add a little bit of white in there okay 
So we got three of our little flowers made. And we'll go ahead and pick up some more of the purple. Oops. Just realized how much was on that first. And this one here is a sims a little bigger, so we'll make it maybe a little fatter. We'll make this one a little stronger. I don't know why I'm doing that. My hands are shaking. It's starting to get cold here again. I am not fond of the cold. Okay, go ahead and pick up some dog while I'm at it. And we'll just add some dog here and there. And we'll pick up a white right on top of that other dog. And we're just going to go ahead and... Dang, get off that edge. Sometimes the best bet is to use your hand to pick it up. We'll wipe it off. There we go. All right, now we'll go ahead and add some little dots. And this is giving us just enough to show that it is the same type of flower. There you go. Let me rinse my brush just a little. And we're going to go ahead and finish up our other two little flowers here real fast. And then we'll get to the next step of our house. Let's see, we're doing purple ones. Let me grab this purple here. See how you get the little... Hi, Robin. See how I got that fat thing on there? You guys, just kind of roll it and take the fat paint off because if you have that bowl there and you push it you're gonna make it go bigger than what you want so if you just have a little sometimes a little goes a long ways and especially in case of doing something so tiny it will definitely go a long ways and you know, add one here little dots I just love these flowers. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add some dog. Just a few little dog here and there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the other dog one too first. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my white as a tip. Try not to get a round ball. And then add, stable my hand, and add some little whites here. And go over here and get this one. A little bit of white. And we're going to quit with that. If you want it, you can add yellow, blues, reds, any colors you want in them or on the stem itself. Okay. Now, our next step is, turn around and see what we got. We still have the back row of flowers on the other side. But they don't all have to be the exact same type of flower or design. It can totally be off the wall. So we're going to make it totally off the wall. <laughs> um, the back, I will put some of those flowers. But what we're going to do... Maybe we should paint the roof first. Yeah, we're not going to. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab. Ah, oh, here it is. Bear with me. Because I need to lay it down just a little enough, and I don't want to get it in my paint. I don't want to clean up that paint because I still want this paint. So I'm going to go ahead and take my white. Okay. I'll turn it so you guys can see. Now I can. From the roof, I'm going to make it what I have for some re unknown reason. I have a vine coming through here. Maybe coming this way. If I can pick up the paint, that is. Bottom up. And they're just kind of like going all over the place. And maybe they just grew out of control. No one ever took care of them. We'll come from the bottom and pull up. That actually looks like a leaf right there, huh? And once again, bottom up. They do not have to connect because most people are not even going to be looking at that, let me tell you. 
And we'll bring some from the bottom here. A few bottom up, bottom up. And then we'll come over here. And we'll do the same thing. We're just going to bring some from the bottom up and out. And we'll do some little designs here. Now what's cool is all these little designs are going to turn into something. They're going to be something. And we can go ahead and bring some more from the top here. Now I cannot see what I'm doing, guys. So I'm hoping that it works out well enough. Okay, so now we got like all these green vines everywhere. Well. Now let's turn them into something. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I don't know. Maybe if you go in and come back out, maybe it it'll work. Shauna Lilac Bush. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the lilacs. I think she was trying to tell me the name of them. They're, they're beautiful, guys. I just love lilacs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring out some little stems, turn them into little leaves. So we know that one will be a... a a lilacs. And we're going to go ahead and make one here, bottom up. And then again, bottom up. Maybe one here, bottom up. Try to get it for next. And we'll put a little leaf here. And we'll go ahead and we'll put a little leaf coming here, out from bottom up. And notice I didn't go all the way to the bottom and pull up again. You don't really have to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one kind of like a boss flower, if you will. This lilacs is going to be one of the best. Well, hopefully, same. And we're going to add a bush, a leaf right here. Turn that little one into a leaf. There we go. Oh, I see that. There we go. Come on, pick it up, paint. Okay, it's a little thicker, so we'll make it a little bigger. There we go. Okay, good enough. And come here, add some little vines. There we go. And we'll add a little leaf here. Come on, fill in. Add a little leaf here. Okay, you know what? That's big enough, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to bring a little one over here. My paint is not being nice to me right now. And we'll add a little teeny one. We're going to go this way with it. And then we're going to go ahead and have to pull one out here because I already put that there. We'll just make it into a leaf. Oh, good. Okay. Hi, Dorothy. Thank you and welcome. And we'll add a little leaf here. And we'll go ahead and pull this up. Whoops. Would help if I actually put paint on my brush, you guys. We'll just gonna pull it up. It's okay. It's a little close there. It's all right. No panicking here. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this one into a vine coming that way. And with that vine, with that vine, I'm just going to carry it over to the front. And I'm going to go from the bottom up. I just had to see what was going to connect to that one. I have one by my back door. The neighbor's husband didn't want the smell of it and told me to cut it down. Well, I'm very good. There you go. I won't do it either. And Dorothy said, thank you. Where are you? And make a little leaf. I love. These. Oh, yeah, we're in California, hon. When I would go camping and hiking and stuff like this, they have these, they'd be wild everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'd be in high heaven. My boss would think I'm absolutely nuts, but I was just totally enjoying the flowers, all the beautiful lilacs. And a man in need, man's in need of bush or trees and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. He'd be looking at me, I'd be like, hmm, wonder what that would look like, red. <laughs> That's for all Shauna, 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 come on. 
Like, all right. We add a little, it looks like a little mouth there, you guys. Maybe we'll make it into a mouth. Why not? Who says we can't? So, okay, so we got enough little leaves going on here to kind of blend that in. So let's just start filling them in before we're here forever trying to make little flowers. Once again, I said this was going to be the pretty big one. So let's just go ahead and do that one first. I think it should come at this angle. We'll do it like that. Because some of these hang. I hope you guys can see this. And we'll just bring it through here. Because we still got the candles. Almost picked up green paint. Would have totally ruined it. I still got the candle to paint real fast. It won't take long on that part. And we're actually going to hook this one to the other candle. So it will sit on top of the candle. That'll be its actual base. Go ahead and make it fatter through here and pick that up. Okay. Get a hold of the brush here. Go ahead and pick up another one and we'll go ahead and add a little one right here. They're kind of like a triangle, you guys. Pretty much the shape I'm giving them, in case I didn't say that earlier. Just something really, really simple. Nothing elaborate at all. We'll go ahead and put a little one right here. Just make this one go kind of that way. If you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and fill this one in, little dots. Okay, we'll do this one. I know this one's pretty big too. I really don't want them to connect. So I'm going to do this kind of to an angle as well. Okay, so you guys are getting the idea of what eventually these will look like. We'll go ahead and finish this one up. We'll show this. Okay, so we will go ahead and add the dog. We're going to add it. Why it's wet, guys? Take advantage of it being wet. Go to the next color. People usually say wait until it's dry. I say take advantage of it when it's wet. The two colors will blend together. Uh, I'm an artist. Oh. I did recreational physical therapy for about, oh, oh my gosh, 17 years. So I did physical therapy. I worked with people in wheelchairs, quadriplegic, stuff like that. And believe it or not, we would actually take those people, whitewater river rafting. Yes, we did. Limitations is no limitations as long as you don't give it to yourself. Oh, cool. I'm assuming that's cool because I don't know what that vine is. It sounds cool, though. I like the name. I think my favorite thing to do was whitewater river raft. Which I only did it because I totally trusted my boss. He was a doll. Okay. Because I'm paranoid of water, guys. But I would never trade that. Yes, off of paper for physical therapy. Now let's go ahead and add all white through here. Oops, I put my hand in green paint. That's way too much. Remember what I said? No bulges. Try to take that off there. We're just going to add some of the white. This time I'm put white towards the top because I think the sun will probably be more likely to hit it there. Maybe a little through here. Um, so that's wonderful. So you stay home now? I stay home now. I destroyed my back in a car accident about four years ago. So now I just take care of my daughter and do my artwork. Let me get that bolt off there. I can see it right there. Okay. And we'll add a little bit of white right here. 
Someone else says, I have a Worcester Rabbit. That was pretty, but a pain. Oops, I forgot to wipe it off. Well, that's cool. What oh, that is? Is that a flower, you guys? Or a bush? A tree? Oh, you looked it up? I don't have my glasses. Leave the picture up. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can see that without my glasses. Beautiful, beautiful. I wouldn't mind having one of those panes or not. I'd love to have it. It's gorgeous. Okay, so we got a couple of our little flowers going there. So you get the idea of what we're going to do there. And we're only going to put one here. Ruth says, it's a vine that grows wild and will take over the space. But beautiful. Oh, I would not mind that. <laughs> While somebody else took care of it, I just totally enjoy it. Oh, no fun, is it? No fun. You know what? I thought just for the heck of it, I know we got the green vine there. The green. I'm going to add yellow right around it. If I can just keep my eye on it. And let's see what we can do because I said it looks like a happy face. So we're going to turn it into a bird bath. So go ahead. We're going to make it yellow. And that's our little guide. We're not going to make it real fancy. We're going to make it almost look like it just is all broken up and dying. I'm going to pick up some of my brown paint. And let's see what we can do with the brown and the yellow. Kind of just... I don't even want it to look like it's usable anymore. I just want it to be there. Just something new. Maybe it's broken down, died a few years ago. And we can go ahead this little tiny bit right here. Well, now it's a big tiny bit because my hand slipped. But that's okay. We're going to add some brown to it, pull it up, bottom up. And just give it an indication that there was something there at one time. And we go ahead. It'll let me pull it. Dang it. Come on. Let me get my paint on the tip of my brush. So on the very tip, and this is such a fine, fine brush, I'm just going to try to give it like it had a back side to it, like it was round at one time before it died off. And there we go. All right. So that's probably not so pretty, but that's okay. Now we're going to go ahead. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. We're going to go ahead and we're going to paint our roof. Robinson, I'm a hairstylist for 28 years. Oh, my goodness. Hairstylist, 28 years. Man. That's talent. That is talent. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to follow the green on my roof, and we'll get to do a simple brown, nothing fantastic. And some of that green shows through, it's okay. And I'm going to leave some of the little lumps going through there. I'm not going to try to make it perfectly straight. I'm just going to make sure I'm hiding the wood. Just to give it the idea that it was maybe an after roof at one time. I'm going to have to pull it down and set it up. There we go. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to turn our little one around here. And we're going to add whoops, some more brown here. And then what we're going to do is, I know I'm not done with the flowers, you guys. But we're going to go ahead and finish our roof, and then we're going to pull up the candles. And we'll start putting it together. And I can always take a photo and show you guys later. I know you don't want to stay on here for 90 years watching me paint a doll, a birdhouse. So we're going to go from the bottom up. I don't know why it's doing top down. We'll go from bottom up. And hopefully by just the non-perfect of it, it'll look like there's shingles or something on the house. No great detail. There we go. And now let's go ahead and turn it. Let me get a hold of it. And we're going to go ahead and do the edges. You know what? Let me get a hold of this and hold it at the top there because we're going to turn it this way first. Let's get the inside. Let me try to stable it on my hand there. 
picking up my regular acrylic brown, guys. I'm going to go from the bottom out. Well, the closest part to the house is what I mean by the bottom out. Hi, guys. Well, thank you, Tammy. Appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead, and once again, we're going to go from the base of the house out. I know it's against the grain because the grain actually going this way, but since it sets a tiny, tiny space, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and get a hold of it and turn it this way. Let's get the inside of this one, the base of the house out, base out. And if I get some on the house, guys, I'm not gonna flip out. I'm just going to move on down the way. It's okay. It really, truly is. And we try to get this little tiny hole right there if I can. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and get the outside. And once again, we're just going to flop over it real super fast. If you can, go ahead and go from the bottom up. And if you can't, that's okay too. Just to hide the coloration of the regular wood is what you're after. Okay, I think, whoops. Okay. Now we got that side pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Flip it around here real fast. Oh, lovely. Okay. Let me get a hold of it better. I don't have a good hold of it. Yeah, it's okay. I chuck it. Put paint on my hand. I don't care. Right through here, I'm just going to slide. It'll be touching the house. Maybe I can get a smaller brush. Hang on. I'm going to try not to touch the house, if at all possible. We're going to take this a pointed angle, okay? I know I already messed, got the house, but we're just going to paint a smaller one in there and just try to kind of pull it all together. So even though I already got the house, we just kind of make it look like it's part of the roof here. We're just kind of Jump in and out of there. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm just try to pick as much as that up and get it to be brown. There we go. Whoops. All I'm doing is going back and forth and pulling it out. There we go. Now, I had some white over there that it picked up, so it made it a little lighter, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my house on the inside, the roof, and just pull out, come in, and pull out. And we're going to call that basically good enough because that is a hard spot to get to. Oops. Go ahead and pick up some paint. Let's get this outside dotted down. And we're just going to put it on there. Anyway, we'll come over here. Just to get it covered. Okay. Let me flip it back around. I know there's still the front and a side. Let's go ahead and get this side first, you guys. Oops. And once again, you go from the house and pull out. House, pull out. And it's not straight, but these old style houses, you know, the old ones that are now abandoned and falling apart or no longer used, which is a shame, they're not perfect there. So let's just give it this little design here. And if you want, take your green ring, go all the way around it, and give it that green leaves coming out of the side of the house, which. Oops, let me fix that little spot there. I must remember where my hand was. We're just going to call that good. Turn it around. Okay. The last part of the roof. Let me go ahead and get the bottom here. Once again, I'm just using ow, 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 plain acrylic paint. And we're just going to go from the house and out. In this case, it's just kind of doing itself right here. So we'll just get this a little bit right here done. the edge. I hope you guys can see this. I don't know how well you can see this little thing. 
And we'll go to house and out. House and out. <laughs> Trying to get that little teeny corner in there, which I finally just got. House out, house out. Oops. Okay, we'll let this dry and we'll go to our candle. Because we do have to paint the wax on the candle. Okay, so we're going to say this is fairly decent. Okay, we'll go ahead and we're going to set it aside. There you go. We'll bring our candle over here. Let me put my brush there. I'm going to raise you guys a little bit. Work your eyes. Sorry, I went kind of fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now here's our candle wax. Of course, it's clear and we want it colorful or co at least a color. But since the candle tea light I got that will eventually go on it is white, we're going to go ahead. We're going to paint this wax white. And we're going to see which brush we're going to use. I got like half a dozen here. Let's see. It's kind of small. We'll go with this one. I really tend to like this one for some reason. And what I'm going to do, guys, <laughs> excuse me, it's real simple. I'm going to pick up just plain white. I'm going to come up to where the tip of it is. And then once again, get rid of the bulges. Try not to have a bulge. It's still good paint, though. I'm going to come up to the top. And I'm just going to get enough of this white on the, the um, glue. And I'm pulling down because the candle wax fell down. So I'll go ahead and turn it this way. Use a hold of it. So I hope you can see. I'm just going to pull it down. Pull it down. And if it's not perfect all the way through, who cares? It's okay. You can leave some of your little bolder lines in there. It's okay. I'm going to use this white too. Why waste it, right? And pull down. Hello. And pull down. Okay, so you get the idea that it's just the wax, and it will look that way, hopefully. Okay, I'm just coming down with it. If you don't hide all the edges, you know what, it's okay, because if you take a spray and you do like a clear coat on it and make it nice and um, shiny, that'll just give it more character that you can see that. So just coming down, bless you, and we're just painting oval where the uh, candle wax is. I'm trying to just come down, there we go, we'll come here. And we'll come down. Okay. I actually got way too much paint with the brush. I wasn't paying no attention now. Doing what I try to tell everybody not to do. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna bring it down. It's okay if it's not perfect, you guys. It's okay if there's a line in it. You ever really look at wa uh, wa um, wax coming off a candle? Nothing perfect about it. It's just cool. Everything okay? Oh, okay. I knew it was him. Did he cancel? Okay. That's all right. Hi, Tammy. And we're just going to bring it on down. Now I get a better hold of it. And I'm just covering as much as the wax and trying not to get it on my pink that I can. And this just gives it the ideal that 
it was the wax off the candle. I like it. Oops, I messed up there, but that's okay. We're not going to just go on. We're not going to panic. We're just going to go on. And I can't see that way. So I'm not even going to fix it, you guys. We're just going to leave it. So what is on there? It's okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm trying to save these spider webs, believe it or not. I was trying to put the spider webs part of the candle wax. Okay, from the top down, let's get this going here. We're just going to go ahead and paint top coming down, just like it dripped. Up, coming down, and come up, and get it turned around here. Let me get the top. I've been missing the top, same top coming down, having done the top. Okay, so why this is top down. A 12 year old driving a car. <laughs> Way out in the boondocks out here, I won't be surprised. Out, coming down. Is somebody out there? Oh. Is David home? Oh, that's true, Mel. You can. It'd probably be easier. Maybe not as fun, but definitely easier. And top coming down. And a little last little strip here. Top just coming down. Now it kind of looks like a little wax. It just did this little thing here. I'm trying to pick up some of the spider webs with it. Just to kind of look at whoops. Oh well. We're gonna keep the spider webs. So there's a little candle. And when I get my key light, it'll go right on top and I'll make sure it's white so it matches this because I will not use real candles. So we're going to set it this aside. Okay, we're going to come back, and what we're going to do, bring our house back. And we're going to bring our other little candle holder over here. Now we got a pink candle holder and a house that I suddenly changed the entire way I was going to paint it. But we're still going to do the same thing I was going to do. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to, oops, why don't I just do it this way. And put the glue around the edge of my little candle here and then the best I can I'm gonna to have to have facing you guys just so I can see it I didn't pull off the tab that was dumb we'll go ahead and put the candle up here and I forgot to paint the bottom but we'll pretend it's painted for the time being and we're gonna glue that right on there so now we got a boot house on a candlestick Oh, that's true. Oh, well, thanks. Thank you, thank you. And you're right. It would be a little more money. Since it's supposed to be Valentine's, and I was going to add a different colorations of house on here, I think I will go ahead. You know what? No, I won't because I just don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add a turquoise hold on here. I have purple, turquoise, the yellow, the red. I was going to do the red, but it just didn't feel like it should be there. Just because it's supposed to be Valentine's, we're going to add a turquoise one right here. This is the one that we made yesterday. Let me go ahead and get this started, then I'll show you. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of get this as much as I can without scolding my fingers. Okay. And I'm just going to place it. I'm not going to try to do it perfectly, guys, for two reasons. One, I am not going to burn my fingers. <laughs> At least I'm hoping not to. Two, we got to make sure we bring it downwards to pick that up. Kind of place it on there just enough. A little bit of glue coming out there. I'm going to pull it off real fast and get that part to go down. Now we got a little heart that we made yesterday. And now if you really wanted to get a hold of it and push it down and just get the edges and just push. Just hold it down. It should all catch. Any extra glue coming through, just get it off as fast as you can. So 
so it won't peel your paint or mess up your already design now. There you go. And you put your little heart on it that you had from yesterday. And I drop it and break it. No. Okay, I'm going to raise this up. Okay. So I think it looks pretty good. Well, I know I'm not done painting it, but I know that's time consuming and I know everybody has their family. So what we're going to do is one last thing with you guys is I'm going to put a little bird on there. And I know the bird is bigger than the house, but I just thought the bird was so cute. So I'm going to do it even though it doesn't quite match. Uh, now Mel actually said, now you just put a little bird. Oh, <laughs> perfect timing, huh, Mel? And there's our little bird. We're going to put a little bird right there. And let me add some glue on top. And pick some of that off because I got way too much glue. And we're just going to place him right about there. For a few seconds. And there's our little bird on our birdhouse. And a little later, I'll finish painting up and then I'll spray it real good and I'll take a photo and show it, buddy. And hopefully when I find my tea light, it'll be a little candle set. So, what do you guys think? Maybe I should add a heart to this so it blends in. So they match maybe on the back or something. What do you guys think? This is our bird house. She said, yes, oh, cute. Okay, we will add a one on this one too. Let me set this aside. Let's see, we got the corkoise on that. We want to keep it matching. And I have two little corkoise one left. So since it ain't the, it dripped on that side, let's go ahead and put them on the back side. Because the back is kind of plain anyways. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, guys. Tammy Carlson? Okay. Yeah. And bring it down. Just a little bit of glue. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and put it right here. And once again, you guys, try not to burn your hands when you do this. If you're doing this with your children, it's just a lot of fun. If you find the candlesticks, just make sure that you don't let them get burned and don't burn yourselves either. And you know what? I'm going to leave the glue because I, I, it just popped in my head. I was going to clean it off because it kind of went over my candle. But you know what? Because I will let this dry. As you can tell right here, I'm talking about how it came through because I put too much. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring more wax, like the wax is falling from this side a little bit here to help come off, come over that just a little, enough to hide this and enough to have some dripping down here so that it looks a little bit more realistic like a candle because it's all on one side. So that way we got our candle. So what do you guys think? We got a little thing there. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. Let me lower you guys. This our little birdhouse. And our little candle. Our little matching hooks. And I'll add the extra glue and stuff to make more um, other candle drippings coming down. Said you can use colored glue sticks and not have to paint it. That's true. Good girl. And okay. said, good job. Well, thank you guys. And if you guys wouldn't mind, um, please like and share. I really appreciate the help. The more we get out there, the more people we get on, the more creative we can be, and hopefully I get to stay on longer. So on that note, I want to thank you all for coming and joining me. Oh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I get to get myself ready to go to the performance that Ms. working on. So she's practicing, getting ready for her big, big debut, if you will. So she's like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> she's a singer and she's doing a play, guys. So let's see. What is next? I'm not exactly sure, Robin, but I know I needed some Valentine's clothes. How? Huh? Okay. But I don't want to do the same kind of calls we did. I want to show you guys how to do a call that you can do with your kids with no glue. Just basically paint some creativity. No glue, no hot glue, nothing like that. That will hurt your kids. So you can sit down with your grandkids and have fun playing and just make all kinds of these calls. And you can do it for weddings, Christmas, 
any season, any special occasion. That'll probably be our next one, just so we can get that out there before Valentine's. So the kids can make them and hopefully make them for even the teachers or something like that. Yeah, it'll be a Valentine card, different from the last one we made. So, thank you, Mel. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And as always, be blessed.